Joshua Tree, California. Some people love it, others not so much. And my take, it's a dusty home of giant cacti, eccentric trees, and deadly rattlesnakes. And if you haven't been, put it on your bucket list. What is the best thing you love about Joshua Tree? The variety. You never get bored here. The beauty is definitely amazing. You can see all of the stars. I was living in Santa Monica and I came as a getaway and I found that just the environment was so beautiful. And I found my little cabin and I have a star bed where I sleep on this bed outside sometimes and look at the stars at night. I was done with the city. Joshua Tree National Park is a massive desert located about 90 miles away from Los Angeles and it's known for its eccentric and surprisingly diverse nature. Like any desert, it can be rough and unforgiving, but at the same time, incredibly delicate and beautiful. And fascinating characters, musicians and artists, all the way from New York to Los Angeles, who hated the pressure of big cities, settled in towns around the park, transforming them into colorful places. So Yucca Valley, Pioneer Town, Landers, and 29 Palms, definitely worth the visit. Joshua Tree has a great Airbnb community and many designers build beautiful houses here. And this dome in the desert was built by Catherine and Brian Smirk. They built such a beautiful place. I always pay special attention to where I stay. It's just as important a part of experience for me as actual sightseeing because when you come back home uh, after a long day, you want this to be a continuation of your experience of the place and it has to be representative of the place and uh, being in the desert and having this to come back home to. For me, this home is gonna be basically part of my entire experience of Joshua Tree. Actually, I do have a fun fact for you. I got this throw in anthropology and I found out that Janelle Peterzak, she's the one who collaborated with anthropology and designed this throw. She's actually also another local artist here and um, I understand why so many artists um, are drawn to this place. It's so, so freak. Nature is all around you. It's just you and the world and it's it's very inspiring. So in my studio uh, is where I make my art out of recycled things. These are all my screens. So this is where I will print things like what Sarah do. So yeah. I make the screens myself and then I print them over here. And I print patches and sew things together. Oh, I print shirts. I like to recycle, so it's usually a recycled shirt. Yeah. Sure. There's another gem I want to show you is Noah's Purifoy Outdoor Desert Museum. Seven acres of junk sculptures. Junk art is not a new form of art. It started as a movement of Dadoism. Dadoist artists were using absurdity as an offensive weapon against elite class. I actually never paid attention to junk art, but I have to say it's wacky and it's so vast in seven acres and it's amazing. <laughs> No, Purifoy is the founder of this museum. He was a high school teacher turned one of our country's legendary assembly sculptors. There's so much cultural history you learn here, more relevant today than ever. Favorite place to visit in town? That would probably be They do a lot of karaoke, and it's awesome. Yes, karaoke bars are big here. And in Pioneer Town, Pappy and Harriet are a worldly famous music venue. In the early 40s, this was, con this was used as a set for Old West movies. And then in the early 80s, 
Happy and Harriet purchased it and they started nightly concerts. Eventually this became such a famous place that uh, one of the best artists were coming here to perform. I know Paul McCartney performed here, uh, Sean Lennon performed here. So now it's owned by two New Yorkers, Robin Celia and Linda Krantz and a definitely must visit place. Do you believe space aliens landed here? Yes. There's been a lot of sights, or a lot of sightings, I should say. And they may have landed there. We never know. Believe it or not, there have been UFO sightings in that area. And this dome in Tegratron was built by George Van Tassel based on blueprint given to him by space alien he made here. The, the aliens, yeah, you gotta go out to Giant Rock Airport by Landers. Yes. Where they built the airport for the aliens to land in the Integratron so that the gentleman could host the aliens. Apparently, Dome has some incredible acoustics and now they perform on giant uh, crystal quartz balls. <laughs> they call it sound bath and people line up for months to be able to get in there. And they say that the sound bath is supposed to calm the chaos in your mind and it's quite relaxing. Do you believe that uh, George Van Tassel, that he really got visited by Ireland? No. I'll have to show you. They also have here the world's the world's famous crochet museum, the size of a photo booth. <laughs> okay, how did you become the world's most famous crochet museum? <laughs> I, well, I could be the only one. <laughs> I just, I think that again is my child self. She's my most creative self, my, my little girl inside. And we just thought that was a fun idea, like, you know, to proclaim what you think would be fun to be the world's life. Road signs. When I travel, I've always loved roadside attractions. Mm -hmm. So here I am having my own roadside attraction. And indeed, this booth size museum has been spotted in airports from Toronto to Hong Kong. So this is it you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I already made a video about Joshua Tree National Park and I hope you watch it, I hope you love it, so please subscribe and I will see you in the next video, bye!